Let's get started on actually making the cable. So first you'll want to pull the amount of wire that you want out of your box. I normally also pull about an extra 30 centimeters or an extra foot for my American friends, just because it's good to have a bit of slack in your cable, as well as we'll be trimming the ends to attach the connectors. So just pull a bit more than you need and then cut it. Next, I'll take the cutting part of my crimping tool, or you can use wire cutters or scissors, and I'll just strip the outer insulation of the cable on both sides. I normally strip about five to 10 centimeters or two to three inches. And when you're done, you'll have the wires exposed on both sides like this. When you're cutting the outer insulation, make sure not to accidentally go too deep with the cutter and make cuts on these wires inside here. Now I'm just gonna cut this string inside on both ends using my scissors here right down to the insulation. And before I forget, I'm just going to put my strain relief boots on both ends of the cable with the larger side facing out. The worst is crimping the RJ45 connectors to the cable and then realizing that you forgot to add these. So I'm just gonna add them now before I forget. And I'll just put them in the middle of the cable for now. All right, next is the fun part, but real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, give the video a like and consider subscribing for more DIY tech tips like this. So I'm going to do all the next steps one side at a time, but basically I'm going to separate and untwist all of these pairs of wires here. If you're using CAT6 or CAT6A here, you're gonna have a little bit more unwinding to do, but that's fine, just keep unwinding. And now we're gonna put the wires in order. So there are two different orders you can choose from that I'll leave on the screen now. The T568A standard and the T568B standard. It doesn't matter which one you pick, just pick one and make sure to use the same one on both sides of the cable. I'm gonna be using the B standard today, but just pick one and stick to it. Don't quote me on this, but my understanding is that B is more common in North America and A is more common in Europe. 